Thank you so much, Senator Warnock, and thank you for your leadership and for inviting Protect Our Care to submit testimony on the importance of lowering prescription drug costs for our seniors. Seniors are at the center of America's drug pricing crisis. As many as one in four seniors nationwide struggle to afford prescription drugs with higher rates um, among more vulnerable groups, including low income, people of color, and those in poor health. Yolante H is a 70 year old diabetic living in Albany. As she is in the Medicare donut hole, she has charged $300 for each of her three diabetes medications. That's $900 a month for a senior who lives solely on her social security income. She rations her life-saving medicine so she can eat or pay other living expenses. And as a result, she's experienced vision loss, kidney compromise, and painful neuropathy. And unfortunately, y Yolanda, Yolanda isn't alone. In 2017, 32% of Georgia residents reported they stopped taking medications as prescribed due to cost. And every day, drug makers exploit our broken healthcare system by hiking the pricing, prices of life-saving medications in order to make record-breaking profits. Between 2019 and 2020, half of all drugs covered by Medicaid Part D had price increases equal to or greater than the rate of inflation. And a 2020 congressional report traced the steep uh, price hikes of the cancer drug Revlevelin to the desire of executives to meet company revenue go goals and shareholder earning targets. In Georgia, this drug price rose 44% from 2015 to 2020. This extraordinary corporate greed has serious consequences on our, public, our, our nation's public health. A recent study found that increasing out-of-pocket drug costs by only $10 created a 33% increase in mortality due to the, a decrease in medicine accessibility. Mm -hmm. This is a distressing choice that Eustancia from Marietta is all too familiar with. She's a 64 year old Air Force, uh, retired Air Force veteran who struggles not only with her high prescription drug costs not covered by her VA plan, but also for her 80 year old mother who is on Medicare. When her mother drug prices increase, Eustancia and her sisters pool their money together to pay for her drugs. She worries about what will happen as her and her mother's drug costs continue to rise when they're both on fixed incomes. It's really a cruel game Georgia seniors and their families are forced to play, all as a result of corporate greed. And yet research shows that drug companies could lose one trillion in sales and still be the most profitable industry. Mm. Skyrocketing prescription drug prices are affecting all Georgians, not just seniors. In recent years, Georgia residents and their insurers have spent more on prescription drugs and for out-of-pocket medicine than most states in the U.S. We've also seen massive increases in prescription drug spending under Medicare and Medicaid. Not only are Georgia taxpayers bearing these price hikes, these high costs are also passed along to everyone with health insurance through increased premiums, increased deductibles and the like. And simply put, every single Georgia Georgian is paying for high prescription drug costs, regardless of who is taking the medications. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Hmm. The problem is only going to get worse without intervention. The policy Senator Warnock is champion will provide immediate relief to all Americans. Under the Affordable Insulin Now Act, which caps patients out of cost insulin, uh, out of uh, out of pocket insulin costs at thirty five dollars a month under Medicare and private plans, seniors like Yolanda will be able to afford her life saving medications without compromising a basic quality of life, and by reducing out of pocket costs under Medicaid Part D through Senator Warnock's capping drug costs for seniors act. Families like Eustancia's will not have to face the possibility 
of making the choice of which family members stay healthy and which can't. Coupled with his Medicaid Saves Lives Act and the Medicare drug pricing negotiation proposals before the Senate, these critical bills attack the high prices set by the pharmaceutical industry. Americans are sick and tired of paying these high exorbitant drug prices. And as the country continues to recover from the economic and health crisis brought upon by the pandemic, America families can no longer afford to wait. We ask that Congress seize this opportunity to lower prescription drug prices through these popular policies. The time for fair, affordable drug pricing is now. Thank you.